So let's say we've got a, a simple example here. And we've got a group of numbers from 1 to 4, and they come up to 10, and we've got another group of numbers, 26, and a total of 36, right? The, the normal way that people would do this is write a formula that says total, and they would say equals D8 plus D15. Is that how you normally write a, a total formula? It comes to 36. That's fine, there's nothing wrong with that. My alternative is to write a formula that says equal sum, add up the whole column. Now what would happen if I push the enter button now? We've added up the whole column. What would be what would the answer be? V36 plus V exactly double what we're expecting, right? Because we're adding those four numbers which add up to 10 plus the 10 and those four numbers add up to 26. So what I'm going to do is divide by 2. And it comes back to the same answer, 36. And you might say, well, why would I bother with that? Well, let's say you're now updating the model and you want to add another group in there. We simply add in a few more rows. And this time we're going to have x, y, z. And let's say it's uh, 55, 56, and 57. I sum them up. So I've added a new block in there, put a nice underline as well, which we should be doing. So I've added a new block in there, and look what's happened. The grand total is automatically adjusted for this new block. Under the old scheme, we now have to go and change, edit that formula again, and say, let's go and fix it. So we go down here, and we have to add another formula and say, plus D13. And it comes to the right answer. But see, what we've done is create a formula that no matter how many blocks of information we put on, it always works right. And one of the events in Melbourne I ran was a guy who owned a share portfolio, and every time he used to add a new share, he used to go down and add, change this formula down here. And now he said it's going to save him hours, this one technique. Anybody ring, ring a bell? Was that, could that be useful for what they do? Good, good technique? There is another, another function called subtotal where you could add them up and would ignore the totals. I just find it a wee bit hard to use. It's a bit hard to get my head around. And some people put the totals in the right hand, another column over in that dose. But this sum divided by two is just one of those techniques that I've just found useful over the last 20 years and it, just, it means it's automatically correct. The only trick is you need to make sure you've got a subtotal after every group of numbers. That's the small penalty you have to pay.